Hello, I'm Terry Etherton, owner of Etherton Gallery in Tucson, Arizona. If you're like me, you're probably really missing sports about now. The COVID-19 virus has halted all sports in the United States and abroad. In normal times, in mid-May, we would be well into the Major League Baseball season, the NBA Finals would be in full swing, and training camps for the upcoming NFL season would be happening across the country. With this in mind, I thought it would be fun to visit a collection that I've been working on for almost 20 years now. The collection is of pre-World War II American sports team photographs, and more specifically of amateur sports teams, not professional ones. Professional team sports photographs are very static, boring, and predictable. Most professional teams have their team photos made by a commercial photographer, and do we really need to see another photograph of the 1927 New York Yankees, the 1978 Pittsburgh Steelers, or the 1993 Chicago Bulls? At any rate, I focused on am American amateur and college team photos that were made prior to World War II. The collection includes most of the popular sports of baseball, basketball, and football, but it also includes many other sports such as soccer, track and field, hockey, bowling, shooting, boxing, and golf. The collection also has some interesting subgroups within it. There are some rare women's African American and Native American sports teams represented. The sports team's photographs are almost uniquely American. There are no comparable groups of photographs from Europe or Asia. In most cases, basket, baseball, basketball, and football hardly existed outside of the United States during this time period. It is my belief that a lot of information can be gleaned from these American team sports photographs. They show us a history of sports in the United States and illustrate how fashion played a part of the team uniforms. They often tell us about the type of equipment used in the various sports and trace the evolution of the equipment and its changes over the years. The photographs also often suggest a hierarchy in the way the players are positioned in the photographs. The photographs in this collection are primarily gelatin silver prints, but there are also good examples of albumin prints and platinum prints as well. I hope you enjoy the displayed pieces from this collection, which has over a thousand photographs at this time. I have selected some of my favorites and some of the rarest photographs from the series. It is not quite the same as the bottom of the ninth home run, a buzzer-beating shot, or a last-minute pass to win the game, but it is a further aspect of the history of these sports that I thoroughly enjoy and hope you do as well. If you're interested in seeing the rest of the selections from this series, please click on the link posted with this video. Thank you.